Welcome back to our Quick Start video series. In this installment, we'll introduce the idea of reusable assets in iRise. Rapid iterations while visualizing software requirements can be challenging if you find yourself building the same components over and over again. Fortunately, there's a better way in iRise. Using masters, templates, and styles, you can dramatically increase your speed and efficiency, as well as promoting design consistency across your projects. Let's get started. Before we present the first iteration of our project to our stakeholders, we need to add a few simple design elements. As we make incremental improvements to the look and feel of our simulation, we'll also be getting a start on an asset library that we can use throughout this project and possibly on future projects as well. Let's start by creating two masters, one containing our page header and the other containing a sidebar. First, we'll create a new folder in the top level of our directory to house the masters. Let's call it reusable assets. Now let's create our first master. We'll call it standard page header. You can add anything to a master that you can add to a page. For now, we'll keep it simple. Just our company logo and a simple background image. Before we start, let's resize the master to the desired dimensions, 900 pixels by 71 pixels. To add the logo, we'll drag an image widget to the master and then browse for the logo on our desktop. To add the background image, we need to open the formatting panel using the button on the far right of the formatting toolbar. This panel provides some additional formatting controls that are not available on the formatting toolbar, including text alignment, borders, and background images. We can browse for our background image by clicking the image icon. Let's add our new master to the Create Profile page. We'll just display the page in our workspace and then drag the master from the directory to the page. We can then copy and paste the master onto our confirmation page. As you can see, our header doesn't quite span the width of our page. Let's fix that by resizing the master. To edit a master, just double click it on the page. When we change the width to 950 pixels here, we can then see the change applied on both of our pages that contain the master. That's the beauty of masters. Make the change once and it propagates to every page in your project that uses that master. Now let's create our sidebar master. This time we'll make the dimensions 120 pixels wide by 300 pixels high. Before we go further, let's define a style for a sidebar so we can easily apply the formatting attributes we select here elsewhere in our project. An easy way to get a jump on a new style is to right-click the workspace and choose Save as New Style. After we name the style, the style editor appears. We want the background color of the sidebar to match our company colors, and for contrast, we'll use a light-colored font. We'll also make the text bold for good measure. As we add content to the master, you can see that the new style is inherited from the master. Once again, we'll add the master to a page by dragging it from the directory to the page. Now that we have what looks like a repeatable design pattern for our pages, it makes sense to create a template. First, let's select the two masters and the page title and press Ctrl C to copy them. Now let's create the template in our reusable assets folder. We'll call it standard page template. After pasting the content into the template, we'll just edit the text to be more generic and then our template is ready to use. While masters can serve many different purposes in a project, templates are built with one very specific goal in mind, to create new pages. To do this, you can either drag the template to the canvas of an existing page in your project, or more commonly, you can drag the template to the scenario whiteboard. Although the creation of reusable assets can involve a significant investment in time and effort during the early phases of a project, the payback can be enormous. Going into your projects with this in mind can be a huge time saver for your entire team. In the next and final video in our Quick Start series, we'll explore some features that will help you make the most of stakeholder reviews, providing them with a better reviewing experience and you with more actionable feedback. Thanks for watching.